What's up, chemistry? Welcome back to the dirt bike shed. Here's an old picture. This is the first race that Cab and Parker were ever in. It was a woods race up in the mountains. And I, uh, Cab, there's his back fender right there. He's so small you can't see him. He was four. And Parker is down here. There's Parker. She was six or seven. All right, anyway, here we go. We're going to review some stoichiometry today. We're going to review some, you know, I always start out with something about dirt bikes. So we're going to go over this second stoich sheet because I had some really smart people ask me questions about it. And it's stoichiometry. It's hard. This is going to be a very quick review. You've got the first example right there, okay? So I'm going to work number two, three, four, and five with you and just ask you some questions along the way. Easy 100. Here we go. Number two, how many moles of water will be produced if three grams of CH4 reacts? So CH4 is methane. How many moles of water? I'm going to move this down. There you go. So we can we can see the, uh, get those numbers out of there. Okay, well, that is terrible. It doesn't want to work. There we go. All right. So first thing we want to do, we're going to balance this, all right? going to balance that, all right? We've got, <clears throat> we've got methane, oxygen, carbon dioxide, water. Uh, we're going to need a two here. That gives me four hydrogens, four hydrogens. That's going to be a one. So we've got two, four, oxygen, one, two, one, two is the balance, okay? That's the first thing. Now look, number two, three grams of methane react, okay? So I can't put a three here because the number that goes here in the little fraction is got has got to be moles. So the first thing we're going to do, three divided by sixteen. That sixteen is the number of the mole, number of grams per mole for methane. So three divided by sixteen on my calculator. Three divided by sixteen equals 0.1875. I'm just going to call that 0.1. <laughs> I'm going to call that 0.19. So now we have 0.19 moles is to 2 as how many moles of water? As x is to 2. See that? 0.19 is to 1 as x is to 2. So that x is going to be 0.19. 3.8, right? So, 0.38 moles. See, they said how many moles of water. So, we're already done once we get this number, okay? I hope you're catching on. Let's try the next one real quick. Try the next one, all right? Uh, okay, I moved the next one around, so I have more room to work. How many moles of oxygen would be needed to produce six liters of water? Okay, down here we've got, let's see, we've got to balance this. I think we're back again at one, two, one, two. Now we've balanced it. Are you seeing something green on the screen there? Because I am. I hope, I hope you're not seeing that green stuff that I'm seeing. We'll have to figure that out. Okay. How many moles of oxygen, so how many moles of oxygen, right, would be needed to produce six liters of water? Now, I cannot put a number six here. What do I have to do? I can't put a number six there. That's right. I have to convert six liters to moles. Six divided by, and again, what is the number for liters for moles? 22.4. So this going to give us a little more than a fourth. 6 divided by 22.4, we just converted that to 0.27 moles. Now, how many moles of oxygen would be needed to produce 6 liters of water? 6 liters of water is 0.27 moles. 0.27 is to 2 as x is to 2. Duh! 0.27, right? That's right. How many liters of oxygen 
would ha have to react in order to produce 8 moles of strontium oxide. Okay, again, first thing we have to do is what? It is balance it. So we're going to balance this. How many liters of oxygen? 8 moles of strontium. Let's balance this. SRO2, we're going to need a 2, 1, 2. There, now it's balanced. How many liters of oxygen? So we're going to have to find out a number that goes here. It's going to, we're going to have to find out moles. In order to produce 8 moles of strontium oxide. Okay, 8 moles. So we can just put the 8 there. 8 is to 2 as x is to 1, and duh, that x is going to now be 4. 4 moles of oxygen. But what was the question? We'd have a 4 here. But what was the question? How many liters? How many liters of oxygen? 4 times, that's right, 22.4 liters. 4 times 22.4 equals 8.96 liters. That's it. Almost done. All right. Last one, number five. How many grams of strontium would react to produce 40 grams of strontium oxide? Okay. Here we go. First, we got a balance. This is 2, 1, 2 again, right? 2, 1, 2. How many grams would produce grams, right? First, we can only solve this. These numbers that go on top have to be in moles, right? So we have a number here, over two, is equal to a number here, over two, okay? Because we're talking about strontium, and we're talking about strontium oxide, all right. We're given 40 grams of strontium oxide. We cannot write the 40 there. We have to convert 40 grams to moles. 40 divided by strontium oxide, which we're going to have 88 plus 16, right? Strontium is 88, oxygen is 16. 88 plus 16, that's going to be 104, right? So 40 divided by 104 grams gives us the number of moles. 40 divided by 104. 0.38 moles. Okie dokie. So 0.38 moles of strontium oxide would be equal to how many moles of strontium? 0.38 is to 2 as, well, duh, 0.38 is to 2, right? And then it says, how many grams would that be? We have 0.38 moles of strontium. The molar mass of strontium is 88 grams. We just looked that up. So 0.38 times 88 gives us 33.8 grams. So that's it. So people, what is the secret? The secret is this. Convert all the information to moles, right? Then you can do the fraction. And if you need to, if needed, convert. to new units, or whatever units they're asking you for. And let me explain this. Look, we converted the information. We converted 40 grams to moles. We put it there. Then we did the fractions, make them e made them even, right? And then the third thing we did was we converted our answer back to grams. That's all there is to it. Peace out. I'm going to give you another little short assignment.